Okay, in today's lesson, we are looking at the cosine rule. So let's get into it. So the cosine rule can be used in any triangle. Right, that's lovely. So if you want to find an unknown side, you're going to use this rule here. A squared equals B squared plus C squared take away 2BC times cos A. Don't worry, I will show you a model very soon. And you want to find an unknown angle. Let's say you want to find angle A. So that's angle A. We don't know it, but let's pretend we knew what A was. I'm going to make up some numbers here. You would just go from there and use this formula here. So you can use the cosine rule to find the length of a side if you know the two sides and the included angle. Or an unknown angle if you know all the three sides. So if I had a triangle like that, like this, where I give you three unknown sides, I can now go and find out this angle here. So I want to show you an example now. Okay, so let's get into it. If you haven't already, just make a little note of these rules here. We're going to be using them throughout today. Okay. So here we are. I've done in yellow for you the unknown side rule and the unknown angle rule. So here's an example. Let's make this a bit smaller. Okay, so here we have a triangle. We need to find the length of the side label X. So straight away, it's an unknown side question. So I'm gonna highlight that in yellow. Okay, unknown side. So because of my rule states of A squared, A being my unknown side, I'm gonna recall this. I'm gonna call this A. So A, we'll make that a bit smaller. So a, so therefore that's angle A because it's opposite. The other side, it doesn't matter. So we're going to go uh, angle B. And B, I'm going to call that C and length C. Okay. So we are using the rule at the top. So let's get into it. I'm going to go green pen so we can see. So unknown side label X, I've now called it A. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Let's plug in some data now. A squared equals B length B. I can see it's 6 squared length C, 7 squared. Take away... Right, so we're going to do two, I'll put a bracket in here, two times six times seven times, oh, we're getting quite small now, cos of 58. Okay, so I'm going to go over here, a squared equals 36 plus 49 minus, and I'm going to put my calculator now, 2 times 6 times 7 times cos of 58. Okay, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going I'm to write the full value down. 45, oh, just let it remain the number. 44.5132182. So A squared equals 36 plus 49. Take away that value here. So, on your calculator, 36 plus 49, take away that value, I get A squared equals 40.4867818. Therefore, A is the square root of that answer. So, on your calculator, you can just go uh, square root of your last answer to one decimal place, uh, missing length, or three significant figures, that's what the question is asking. 6.36 centimeters. Lovely. Let's move on. Okay, here we are. New question. Unknown angle. Well, here we are. Size of angle Y. We don't know it, so we're using the unknown angle rule. So let's it's cos A we're using. So we are gonna say that our unknown angle is angle A. There we are, let's rewrite this to get some nicer 
always, always use A, B, and C. It just makes your life a lot easier. That's a matter of a B and C. So we'll go, you can go, you can be B and you can be C. There we go. So let's write the rule out again. So now what do we have? Well, the rule is here. I'm not going to write it a second time. B squared plus C squared. Well, B is 7 squared. Plus C squared is 6. 6 squared minus A squared, which is 10 squared. Lovely. All divided by 2BC. 2 times 7 times 6. So, I can do a bit of mental math. Let's give it a go. 49 plus 36. Take away 100. Over 2 times 7 times 6. Oh, we're being stressed to my limit here. 84. And that equals... Well, I'm going to get a calc there now because we don't want to make errors here. Minus 100. So, we get negative 15 over 84. So, that gives us our unknown angle. It's going to be cos of A. We don't know it. Equals... Negative 5 over 26. That's what my calculator is giving me. You know, I don't want to confuse you guys. It's negative 15 over 84, but it simplifies down to negative 5 over 28. So our missing angle, angle A equals cos to the minus 1 of negative... 15 divided by 84 and if anyone spotted my error I will fix that in a moment I think that was 24 we were looking for I'll fix in a second I don't want to confuse you all and there we are our missing angle minus 15 over 84 equals to one decimal place 100.3 degrees there you are Miss an angle, 103 degrees. Okay, take that all in, give it a read. For those who are upset about that, it's 28, <laughs> the missing one. So this angle here is 100.3 degrees to one decimal place. Lovely. Take a moment, copy it down, or process it. Right, here's the written model. You can pause it here and give it a nice read. That's what I've just done for you. So if you don't like my handwriting for whatever reason, you can give that a read now. Okay. Practice questions. You've got four questions using the rule for the unknown side. So straight away, you've got to just please relabel them straight away with your new letters because we don't want it. We don't want anyone to be confused now. So I'll do the first two for you because you know. So lovely. Okay. There we go, we go. You can be B, you can be C. There we are. I've done the first two for you. I'm not going to give you all the work. So unknown side, four practice questions. Here, unknown angle, you've got four practice questions. Again, first things first. Don't let this confuse you. We're going to go A and little a, B, C, so that B and that C. Don't let this little A confuse you. You're better than this, guys. Come on. Okay, there you are. Four practice questions. And then, once you're done, my class, you're going to input this onto a Google form. But I also want to see this MIDI application done. So, work out the size of angle A or B as so your MIDI application. And that is today's... I would say today's lesson. That's the first part of the lesson for my class. But if you're watching this on YouTube, that's you, that's you done but not my class. You've got a bit more to come after this, but that's for another time. Hope this helps, and I'll see you all next time for my next video.